Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. In one of our previous video, we saw Pascal's law and how energy is conserved under fluid. In this video, we'll discuss the principles of flow and how a fluid flow is governed by the law of conservation of energy. You might be aware of various types of flows. A steady flow is where the properties of fluid such as pressure, velocity, density, etc. do not change with time. Whereas in an unsteady flow, the properties can change with time. Another type is laminar and turbulent flow. If the flow is such that the fluid particles move along in straight and parallel lines without crossing each other, then such a flow is called laminar flow. On the other hand, in a turbulent flow, the particles move randomly without any order. The flow of a fluid is measured in terms of flow velocity. As seen in a pipe having a variable cross-section area, when a fluid flows through the larger area, the velocity is reduced. On the other hand, when the fluid flows through a smaller area, then the velocity increases to maintain the continuity of the flow. Hence, according to the continuity equation, the volume flow rate is always constant for a hydraulic system. Now, the total energy of a system is conserved over time according to the law of conservation of energy. The Swiss scientist Daniel Bernoulli noted that, for a fluid flowing through a pipe of varying cross-section, the total energy must remain constant. To understand this, a fluid flowing through a pipe of varying cross-section is observed. Since point 1 is at a higher elevation, therefore the potential energy of the fluid at point 1 is higher. At the same time, since the area of cross-section is large, the velocity is reduced. Now as the fluid flows through a smaller area at point 2, its velocity is increased but potential energy is decreased due to lower elevation. Therefore, if the frictional losses are neglected, then the total energy of the fluid including the kinetic pressure and potential energy at point 1 is equal to the total energy at point 2. This equation is called Bernoulli's equation. Its application can be seen in Venturi meters. As the fluid flows through a smaller cross-section, the velocity increases with a decrease in pressure. Bernoulli's equation can also be applied while calculating the lift of an airfoil. Since the pressure above the wing is lower than below, a lift is generated. Well, that was all about some principles of flow and their numerous applications. Stay tuned for more such interesting content. And until next time, bye!